So what's protected, what's not protected? General speech, of course, is protected. People have the right to have opinions of all sorts. And of course, you remember that expression. And what was that expression? I may not like what you say, but I will defend to the death your right to say it. And that means that everybody is entitled to say what they want. But you have to be careful, because if you say something that, again, is defamatory, it injures the reputation, uh-uh, not protected by the First Amendment. It's protected. You can say it, but be ready to pay out. Also, again, fire in a theater. You yell fire, somebody gets hurt or any, anything else, you, of course, are going to be held accountable. And then again, as I mentioned, the issue of hate speech. Now, hate speech, you can say anything hateful, and you could say things that are derogatory within limitations, because if you incite imminent law lawless action where you say again burn this place down burn this place down like a relative of Michael Brown did then the issue was should he be prosecuted and of course that wouldn't be protected and that was the debate there but other than that you have freedom of speech those are the limitations the Muhammad cartoon contest event is something that freedom of speech protects. Now what ends up happening is that there are many groups and organizations that we may not like the message that they convey. We may not like what they do. We may not like what they stand for. But under the principles of the Constitution, it's their right to have contests, to convey messages, even if those messages are something that people may find offensive. As far as civil suits filed against event planners, any planner of an event certainly has certain duties. Now, there's something that says the risk perceived is the duty defined. What does that mean? If there's a risk because it's an event that you think is going to attract people that would harm you, then, of course, event planners should plan for that. And they should perceive that risk and take steps to have security and other measures so that people are protected. But that doesn't mean that in the event that they've taken the security measures and something does happen, that they would automatically be liable. So could event organizers be held responsible? Perhaps, but it's not an automatic that they would be responsible in the event that something occurs, as long as they provide reasonable security measures for the participants who are there.